Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. Oh. He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver, but I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No, a far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's vein, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Quiet dogs tallow for a wolf's liver. Not first I'm gonna run back here. That they would have some of the items. Apparently, one of them had a wolf's vein. Another one had enough for the other thing. Oh, right, that's a wolf's vein. Nothing I needed. Great. I have not good timing that one. That's. Um, oh. oh, there you go. Where are you going? You should know how much damage just like. Sword They're form. gone. You can come out! You cut him up bad! The Wolf King will be angry. Come up back, the Wolf King will be angry. Do parents often send their children out to follow the sweets? Mm. That is all in blood. Lord open. No wolves did this. needed to make right yay all right i have everything now for a spot where i can build a fire and brew the oil in peace i'd say a cave is not the best place to build a fucking fire oh worry we're not in a cave what are you doing greasing my blade How effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Series story, King of the Wolves. I'd say a werewolf is King of the Wolves. Probably is in some lore, but I don't know. It's probably just a, you know, in the air, it looks like a king. There you go. Wow, we've traveled quite far back. Keep going, please. I, I, I run so much faster than you. I'm trying to run. Okay, through that tunnel. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Oh, so the werewolf's in here. Um, I'm scared. I don't want to fight a werewolf. Grr, grr, grr. What? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide. <whistles> Come on then. Oh, fuck you, you 
fucking wreck. Done it. That was actually the easiest fight I've ever done. Really give him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Go. You can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. <sighs> Must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren did. The little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I, I'm not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Great. Great loading screens are so small. Oh. Jesus Christ, she eats. I mean, she eats a lot. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. I'm the little one. Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Mm, very, thank you. I've not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. Well, we thought it well. It means you killed a werewolf. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri, what happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. Watch your tone, Witcher. Remember you owe me. Butchered some of my better men. We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? Fine. I want, I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose. An exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you 
about the girl you seek all I know thing I is I can I trust you what guarantees do I have <laughs> none whatsoever only my word if I refuse what if I refuse because I just don't want to would you tell me to sod off Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by its shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Research. Sent the men out right away, but they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, they are what? Swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Got any enemies? Kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any who might have, they've been eating dirt long since. Does anything, anything unusual? unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another lass before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horses, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. All right. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? We have points here. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. It's fine. I just need to look through the belongings. Definitely won't be stealing anything that I might want later on. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, it's that deer's wump on the other side of the wall. Of the hand. <laughs> what have you done, Jack? You see it there? Oh, oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Or bed chamber. Tamara's room is there. Try not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Alright, yeah, that's fine. I just need to look around. Stem's broken. You left me alone, man. It was empty bottles. I mean, you left me alone. That was your one mistake. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Look happy enough. Right, that painting. Huh. Gotta wonder who 
wanted to hide the hole and what's on the other side. 